Hey Nzanzi, once again, you're welcome to a new content right in this channel. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you're new and do hit the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when we drop a new video. Well, in this particular video, we'll be talking about the mounting accusations faced by the African National Congress, the ANC, under the leadership of Cyril Ramaphosa. Well, they are actually striving so hard to cling to power amidst a challenging political climate. We'll be talking about this in this video. Well, as the ANC faces rejection on multiple fronts, including within the electoral and political alliances, uh, allegations of vote rigging have emerged as a troubling indicator of the party's determination to maintain its grip on authority. Well, the ANC, once hailed as a liberator of South Africa, now finds itself in a precarious position, grappling with warning support and internal dissent. While well, recent polls paint a sobering picture of declining popularity for the ruling party. Well, we are not just talking about the ruling party, we are talking about what has been going on. We are getting information right now that the president, alongside his cohorts and of course some close people, are trying so hard to rig the elections so he gets to remain in power. Well, do you find this particular move necessary? I find this totally absurd. I mean, this is not the type of life we want for South Africans. This is not what we want to be the fate for South Africa. I mean, if anyone is going to step into that particular position, then that person should clearly merit it. Well, in addition to facing resistance from the electorate, the ANC encountered setbacks in forging political alliances while further complicating its prospects for electoral success. While rejections from electoral and of course political coalition partners have left the party scrambling to secure the support needed to retain control of the key municipalities and provinces. While the ones on a cyber ANC finds itself fighting to maintain its political stronghold. Well, this is just something that we're getting. And believe me, if care is not taken, most members, most people that are actively supporting the ANC could even find themselves behind bars. Well, we're getting so many mounting challenges and of course, allegations of vote rigging now has actually become the talk of the day. Well, we don't actually understand why Sirma Posa is putting his hands into something this bad because a couple of days back, we did talk about the fact that the president even had to visit some companies and of course a shop that was actually owned by an illegal foreigner. I mean, he wasn't going there to get that particular person arrested. This was just to like make that person and of course people around to vote for him. I mean, how cheap can they actually become? Well, what's your take concerning all this? Do you think it's proper? Do you find this particular move that the president is making alongside his own uh, uh, people, alongside his party, do you think they are actually being considerate? Do you think they are even looking out for South Africans? Do you think they want the best for South Africans? Well, if you should ask me, I think this is something that we can't even be talking about because it is clear enough that they don't care about South Africa. Well, as we eagerly await the unfolding of events in the run-up to the elections, let us remember the importance of preserving the principles of democracy and upholding the will of the people. Well, may South Africa emerge from this chapter stronger with a renewed commitment to transparency, accountability, and the pursuit of a brighter future for all each citizen. Well, I will thank you so much for stopping by and of course watching the video till this end. Please do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button. Once the next video drops again, stay tuned and stay glued.